Tarek Zahed, one of Australia's most high-profile bikies, could walk free from custody on parole as early as next month after prosecutors sensationally dropped murder charges against him on the morning of his trial. Senior Comanchero bikey boss and gangland shooting survivor Tarek Zahed, along with his brother Abdul, had been due to face the New South Wales Supreme Court this week for an estimated five-week murder trial over their alleged involvement in the ambush-style killing of underworld figure Youssef Assoum, who was stabbed and shot inside his car in the early hours of December 11, 2014. Residents heard screams for help after midnight back in December 2014 as Youssef Assoum lay dying in a southwestern Sydney street less than 50 metres from a hospital. An off-duty doctor tried to help the 29-year-old Assoum who had been shot once in the right thigh and stabbed several times in the head. The man was rushed to Liverpool Hospital because of the serious nature of his injuries, but later died. Initial investigations focused on links between Assume's attack and two other non-fatal shootings, including the mother of Brothers for Life leader, Bassam Hamzi. These shootings took place within 24 hours of Assume's death and led investigators to believe that there was a war going on between crime syndicates, with police saying Assume was believed to be a member of a rival gang. It took detectives eight years to extensively investigate the killing of Assume. On August 28, 2022, Tarek Zahed was arrested. Heavily armed police fired rubber bullets into his car before dragging him out. Officers in tactical gear stormed a busy road in Edgecliffe, in Sydney's east, taking the Comanchero sergeant-at-arms into custody. Zahed was detained for his alleged involvement in the 2014 murder of Youssef Assoum. At the time, Tarek Zahed was still recovering from a gangland shooting that occurred just a few months before his arrest on May 10, 2022. Masked gunmen stormed a body-fit gym in Sydney's Auburn, firing more than 20 bullets inside the building. Zahed was rushed to hospital in critical condition and was taken into surgery with bullet wounds to his head and body, including one that pierced straight through his eye. However, his brother Omar was shot to the arms, stomach and leg and died at the scene. Not long after the shooting, two stolen Audi Q7s were found set alight in Barala and Greenacre in southwest Sydney. A handgun and two bullets were also discovered in one of the burnt-out cars. Doctors were surprised by Tarek's rapid recovery when he was released from the hospital less than two months later following lengthy discussion about whether he would need limbs amputated. A month after Tarek's arrest, his brother Abdul was arrested at a correctional facility in Bathurst and charged with murder and kidnapping. A third suspect, Triantafilos Vlangos, was also arrested and charged with accessory after the fact to murder. Police alleged that Vlangos tried to destroy Assum's vehicle by setting it alight after he was murdered. The brothers pleaded guilty to lesser charges after their respective lawyers struck last-minute plea deals with the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. Tarek, once dubbed the Balenciaga Bikey, thanks to his love for designer clothing, pleaded guilty to a charge of hindering the discovery of evidence, admitting he ordered an associate to destroy Youssef Assoum's Volkswagen Tuareg in the days after the fatal shooting. Tarek believed Abdul was somehow involved in Assoum's murder and that his actions in organizing for the Volkswagen to be destroyed were aimed at protecting his little brother. His brother Abdul pleaded guilty to being an accessory after the fact to murder, with court documents detailing how he lied to police when questioned about what had happened to Youssef Assoum and aided the killers, whose identities remain unknown to authorities, to avoid arrest. Abdul later gave a statement to police through his lawyers, saying unknown persons had hit him on the back of the head and knocked him out. And when he regained consciousness, Assoum was lying next to him, bleeding out. That's when Abdul had tied his T-shirt around Assoum's leg and began yelling at hospital staff to do something. While the charge against Tarek Zahed carries a maximum sentence of seven years jail, his legal team is expected to call for his immediate release on parole at a sentencing hearing in March. The legal team claims that the 18 months he has spent in custody since his arrest in August 2022 is punishment enough. This submission is likely to be strengthened by repeated claims from Tarek's lawyers over the past 18 months that there was no case against their client on the murder charge.